This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question on this version number 17. I will say that I actually really like this question just because not from a math teacher perspective, just from a human being perspective, it sort of respects that maybe you've seen something in your life and you've, you don't have to be just mathed your way into existing. You could have seen this image on your desk in class or wherever uh, a lot of times. So you may actually have a bit more um, awareness to what this is supposed to represent than you would otherwise. And then I like that the question asks you to think about it in a bit of a different way. So Carly was shading numbers that follow a pattern before her paper ripped. Which of these is the rule for the pattern of numbers she uh, shaded on Carly's paper? Now, they say multiply by 4, multiply by 2, add 16, or add 8. The quickest way to get from one place to the other is simply applying the pattern and just to see what's possible. And this is a calculator allowed section, so you could absolutely use a calculator to sort of figure this thing out. So if I were to look, I may say, okay, so let's take a look at, I'll go 24 to 32. So if I did 24 times 4, well, that's not it, because it's supposed to be 32 and it's 96. No, that's not right. 24 times 2, okay, 48, no, that's out. Add 16, 24 plus 16, uh, no, that skips over to 40, so we're on the right track. And then 24 plus 8 equals 32. So that's looking good. If I do plus 8 to that, it gives me 40 like I expect. Let's see if, if I add 8 to that, I get the next thing. Plus 8, yep. And does it match down here? Perfect. So the end solution is going to be plus 8, or add 8. With that being said, could you figure this out in a different way? Absolutely you could. If you just look at the image separate from anything else, like you don't use a calculator, you just look at the picture. Well, if I notice here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, this looks like it's showing me a tens, and then over here, I notice that the 5 pattern exists, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So this is probably between here and here. And it, the more you know your multiplication tables, the easier it is to see. You might immediately notice that this is the 8th uh, times table. This, this is a times table or multiplication table, and you're seeing the uh, multiples of 8. You may know that immediately. But if you don't, here's 5, here's 10, 6, 7, 8. So this is the 8, or the multiples of 8, just by looking at it. But then you'll notice that there is no multiplying by 8 thing down here. They ask you something different. Well, that deals again into the relationship between multiplying and addition. And if you've seen any of the other videos I've done, you'll, uh, uh, I mean, some of the videos that I've done for this, you'll notice that I talk a lot about the relationship between addition and multiplication. Well, multiplication is just a lot of addition. So instead of saying 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 32, I'll just say, okay, there are four 8s here, so I have 8, and I want to multiply that by four groups, and I get to 32. So instead of doing the multipliers or the uh, multiples of 8 here, I may say, well, the pattern itself is just add 8 every time. So that's really what I'm working for. I like this question because it kind of reestablishes the connection between those two things. The fact that it's possible you've actually seen a multiplication table on your desk somewhere before, that's good. And um, this isn't a particularly difficult question because you can always go back and check your answer with your calculator or just by hand. And it's a much easier type of problem that has a lot of elements that sort of exist in math that I think are good. But anyway, again, if you are doing this on a on the workbook and you need to carry it over to your um, answer sheet, I would suggest that you go ahead and put the letter D out here just to remind yourself that that's the answer that you've chosen for this one. That way you don't pick the wrong thing when you copy it over and end up doing all the work and then still getting the question counted wrong for something that's not really much your fault.